besties <laughs> it's your girl Catherine. welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel today i want to show you guys what is in my shower because a couple of you guys have asked me to do an updated one and the last time i did one was last spring and this is a very bittersweet video because this will be probably one of the final times you guys will see me doing a what's in my shower in this home because I will be moving soon and that is a little bit bittersweet but I'm excited to show you guys my new bathroom in the upcoming months though it'd be really fun I'm thinking about doing like a moving series because I keep talking about moving but anyways a lot of you guys have been curious on what is in my shower and some hygiene products that you guys might want to use and put in your shower and I do want to put a disclaimer out there if you're new to hygiene or body care and you might be overwhelmed with what how many products I have in my shower less to say these products are going in there because i want to use them up so in the long run they will be used up and i do go through body care hygiene products very quickly because they're not very much huge necessity with like the scented ones so i do like to use a lot of product whenever i go through my body washes or bar soaps as i like a good lather okay so if you do get overwhelmed and you want to comment you're wasting your money blah, blah blah i like to use my money the way i want to do it so let's go on and go ahead and get started with what is in my shower all right we are in my bathroom right now and i share a bathroom with my siblings and this is the norm so that's what it normally looks like we got skincare some batiste dry shampoo all the fun stuff toothbrushes toothpaste that's what's going on there but this is a shower tour so let's transition da -da 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 -da. this is my shower and i'm really sad to see this one go because this is like my first luxury shower but this shower curtain is from big lots i love buying big lots shower curtains they're the best place to get them because they're so cheap for no reason i believe this was six dollars and the best thing about it is that you can buy a couple of a year and if you don't want to wash them you just want to throw them away mold and wit residue buy them at big lots but i did get this in the fall and it did match like that fall cute aesthetic look i was going for but since we are moving out and in a couple of months i am going to keep it as it is now let me show you guys what else is down here before i do open the shower curtain that's realistic too. Some cleaning supplies, some empty bottles, some shaving products, a vacuum, this shower mat. This was from my roommate, my old ex-roommate. She gave it to us and it's perfect. It's huge. Getting a huge shower mat is amazing because you don't have to drip water everywhere. It's, it's great. Throw it in the washer and dryer. You're good for life. Now let's finally open the shower curtain. Da -da -da -da. Good. If you have seen my last year's what's in my shower tour, I did buy a couple of shower racks. They were like these two, but they were down here and they were amazing. They're really deep too, so you could put a lot of sugar scrubs if you wanted to. But the problem was I didn't like having a lot of shower products in my bathroom because there's like a huge mold problem in this house. So I took them off and let me tell you guys, they are renter friendly, but they do take a lot of time to come off. It took about like 10 minutes for both to come off because I did have to use a blow dryer and get rid of the sticky stuff. But I do know that there are some shower caddies like these that are made out of this product right here. And it's like a silicone one. It's like plasticky looking, but I'll put a little picture here to show you guys. And I think those would be better for renter friendly purposes. But if you do have a house that you will be living for the next five, 10, however long, these are amazing. They do not fall and they do so well in the shower. Really enjoy them. They are better for flat surfaces, not like the grooves of these. So you see how this has texture. The problem with that is that the mold within these from the sticker right here, it can get in, water can get stuck in between and then you'll have like that pinkish mold mildew in there and it's not fun to clean out i do have some right there that's hidden but it will be cleaned out once i move out so take that into consideration if you do want to get shower shelves let's go ahead and talk about the products that i have in my shower 
So on the far right of my shower, I have these two products right here. The blue bottle is the Jergens Weightless in Shower Body Lotion, and it's also a non-rinse one, and I really enjoy this product. You guys definitely need to try it if you don't like the feeling of super sticky or if you feel like lotion is a little greasy on your skin i definitely give that one a go it's perfect for beginners and it's also perfect for people who want to elevate their hygiene routine so that's around like six bucks but it's it's so worth it i will tell you guys to invest in it it's amazing uh that little brush right there is for me to clean within the middle of the week whenever i see like little spots or stains or if i feel like the shower needs to be cleaned up a little bit more Right down here, I have this Garnier Fructis one minute shower hair treatment. I got it at the dollar store and I can't say that I don't regret buying it because it was only a dollar, right? But I feel like sometimes it doesn't do much to my hair. So I took a break and didn't use it again until recently. So that has been new into the shower section of my bathroom, but I've been using it as a conditioner and so far it's not too bad, but I definitely think it is discontinued. Right here is my brother's loofah. That's all we have to say about that. Down here is some shampoos. That green one is from Bath and Body Works and I have talked about how it doesn't do much to my skin. I feel like sometimes when I use it, I've been trying to finish it up that it makes my hair very staticky and there's so many flyaways. I feel like it doesn't give my hair more benefits than just making it clean. The fragrance is nice. It is the stress relief fragrance. It's really minty, but I don't think I'll ever repurchase it again. And the one right next to it that is flipped upside down is the Hask Keratin Shampoo. I don't think I will be buying that anymore, but I think I do have a backup of it. I think I do. I prefer the Tea Tree Hask a lot more, much more. It's so good. You definitely need to try that one out, but that is that little section. And lastly, down here, we have my Castile soap. That one is in tea tree. Sometimes I will actually use that Castile soap for my body, but also for cleaning the shower. It's an amazing multi-use product that you can use for many things. And a little bit of it goes a long way. So especially when I'm done at the gym and I want to clean my pits, I will use a little bit of that, put it on the washcloth, dilute it though, definitely need to dilute it. Now let's shift to what is on this. It's really pretty in pink and I recently, and when I mean recently, I just put in these new bottles of shampoo and conditioner and it's the Monday brand and it says it's hydrating, moisturizing, there you go. And I just put it in like 10 minutes. What the? 10 minutes ago and we have been using the Aussie one and we just ran out. So that's perfect for me and my two siblings. We go through shampoo and conditioner a lot because we have a lot of hair and we got those at Costco. I believe that was around $30, $40 for both of those. Not too sure my sister did buy them, but I'm really excited to try them out. They have a herbally fragrance and I thought since it was pink, I wanted to put like other pink products next to it. This body wash right here is the OGX Rose Water and Pink Sea Salt Body Wash. And this is currently in my project Use It Up. Honestly, most of these products that are shower hygiene body wash related are in my project Use It Up. And I like to go through my hygiene products because eventually you do need to use them up. I have been really enjoying this, especially for those days where I want a little bit of a floral fragrance, but not too much. This is a winner in my book, so definitely give this one a try. It's amazing. And then next to it, I have the Tree Hut Moroccan Rose Shea Sugar Scrub. This is just as good as well, especially when I want more of a floral shower routine. So I have it right next to the pink stuff. It's really fun. This is where I put my Bath and Body Works shower gels, as well as some random miscellaneous shower gels that don't fit anywhere else in my bathroom. Now let's quickly go over them. I have Champagne Sprinkles. It's a nice sprinkle fragrance, but in the shower gel specifically, it has like a cream cheese fragrance. It's so funny to say that, but it really does remind me of a almost cheesecake fragrance. In the shower gel only though. There's also Honeysuckle Peach Tea, Cotton Candy Clouds, Berry Waffle Cone, Cactus Blossom, Pink Tie-Dye, and also there is this Dial Silk and Orchid Body Wash. It's a very strong, potent floral fragrance. I will say that. It feels like it smells like fresh cut lilacs from Bath & Body Works. And I also do have this 
watermelon body wash that I got on sale a couple months ago and I've been trying to get my brother to use this. <laughs> so that is what I have on my shower shelves. Now let's move on to this next section. Up here I have the Truly Beauty Moon Shower Adaptogenic Mist and it has a nice aromatherapy essential oil <laughs> fragrance that I like to spray along in the shower to let the fragrance steam up and it gives me a little bit of a zen mode so it's a very frivolous item to have but i did get sent that from them so i really have been enjoying using that whenever i want to calm myself down especially in the shower after i had a long 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 day but next to it i have the soft soap starlight sorori body wash i'm almost done with it and i love to use it when i have those really really hot days where I want something that will make my body a little bit chilled and I have been taking cold showers because our AC has been breaking down on us and it gets to the point where it's like 78 degrees at like midnight and it's so hot so all the lights are off and so I'll take like a really cold shower and it feels really great using that but I am really excited to finish that one up. Now down here we have my sister's bar soap. That is the CeraVe bar soap. She enjoys using it. This right here is the, what bar soap is this? This is the, uh, what's it called? Caress bar soap. There's a little picture right there for you to see, but I really do like Caress bar, bar washes. They're not too stripping. They have a nice fragrance. It's so good. Definitely recommend. Down here is some of my sister's stuff. She has some Penoxyl and also some CeraVe foaming facial cleanser. Then let's go up here all the way to the top, okay? First off, let me tell you guys, the shower rack shower holder. What is this called? A shower, a shower shelf? No. I, anyways, this product that holds all of my hygiene products is from Target. It was $20 and the best thing about it is that it's very thin thick and firm and it's not flimsy. And what I mean by that is that as you can see here, those metal wires right there will not budge. And that's the best thing about it because the one that I got before this, I got it at Ross. It was very flimsy and it, the products would always tumble down and I got very frustrated. So I went to Target and I got this one. So high quality, so amazing. Definitely recommend. They also have a smaller one too, but let's start with everything on the top. So the three tree hut scrubs I have are lemon blueberry tart. I'm actually almost done with this. I'm so excited to finish it. Frosted sugar cookie. This one's really good. It has like a snickerdoodle fragrance, really nice. And I also have Tahitian vanilla bean. This is a spa-like vanilla, not an actual gourmand vanilla, sorry to say, but I do like this one. I have a backup, so I have been trying to use this one up as well. I also have the St. Ives Oatmeal and Shea Butter Body Wash that I want to use. So that is there on the top. Now moving on to the second section on the bottom. The first one on the left is the Caress Shea Butter and Brown Sugar Body Wash. I've been trying to get this one out of the way and used up. It has a very sexy brown sugar fragrance and it sounds weird to say sexy and brown sugar, but trust me on it, it's very different than your typical milky brown sugar fragrance. It's really good. I have the Baby Dove Hypoallergenic Wash for my downstairs area. I love to use this whenever I'm out of the gym or when I'm on my period. This is the best, nice, not too harsh or stripping for down there. I definitely recommend if you haven't tried this before. They also have a fragrance-free one. This one has a tiny bit of a fragrance. It's more like a clean laundry fragrance in my opinion. This is a little bit similar to the Jergens moisturizer, lotion, and shower. This is a shower oil. Let me tell you guys, this was the best dollar that I've ever, s my sister spent, she actually bought me this. And it's amazing, it lathers so nicely, and I love using it after I shave my legs. It makes the shower experience very luxurious. Definitely recommend if you haven't tried a shower oil. I do know that Dr. Teals sells them. I also have the Skin Skintimate Skin Therapy Baby Soft Shave Gel. Skin Skintimate is one of my favorite shaving products because it's perfect for beginners and it foams very, very well and a little bit goes a long way. You need to try it. All right, the last section are my shower tools. From over here, you guys can see I have a scalp massager. This is so good. I got this from Shop Miss A for a dollar. 
it's rubber it's a dollar sometimes these shower head massagers can be up to like five six dollars i like tj maxx but get this at shop miss a you will save a couple bucks and they have some awesome products too i also have this silicone body brush that is perfect for using body wash or if you have super sensitive skin and you don't want to use a loofah this is a nice product to have and i got this for only seven dollars on Amazon. I think it was actually from seven to $10, but they do have a whole bunch of variety on there. Have a couple of razors, one blade razors. And then over here, I have a loofah. I'm not proud of it. I know loofahs are super bad for the environment, super bad for your skin because it can hold a lot of bacteria, but I really do love the way loofahs sud up. Like they have so much bubbles and they foam very, very well. So I have that right there. That is from Eagle Tools. If you do love loofahs, Equal Tools loofahs are the best. And they're like a dollar, a dollar twenty at Walmart. So good. I also have this African net sponge right here, this pink one. Probably one of my new favorite shower tools that I have used. And it's like a loofah, but it exfoliates a little bit extra. It's a little bit more coarser, but it's amazing and it is a lot more hygienic than a loofah, I will say that. I also do have like another silicone brush, but this is like a thicker one. So you can like put it in like your hand, like a glove. It's really nice. And then over here, you can see I have another razor. That is a five blade razor and that's from Shop Miss A. It also has this little metal attachment and I don't know if that metal attachment is renter friendly. <laughs> I'm kind of scared that I won't be able to take it off. I might have to leave it on for the next person tenant that will live here to use and honestly i hope they don't mind it because i really don't want to break the shower so that is what is over there so that is the end sorry i, I love seeing the little ring light right there <laughs> that was my entire sh what's in my shower 2022 spring edition i hope you guys enjoyed this video please let me know what is in your shower right now if you guys have any fun spring hygiene products that are in there please let a girl know down below i am going to be making a video right after this really soon about some other spring hygiene products that you might have in your collection or in your hands that you didn't know you had or that you forgot and that you might want to bring them out before spring ends and then summer comes but yeah that is everything thank you all so much for watching this video and i will see you guys soon bye